Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo high score run on this week's Nightfall Ordeal. We're doing it on Master and it's Broodhold, which is the Tangled Shore Nightfall. Uh, Tangled Shore Strike, one of them anyway. Uh, we're doing it on the Warlock. I am using roughly the same setup that I used for last week's Nightfall with a difference to the subclass. I'm using Top Tree Nova instead of Dawnblade. And I've went with a bit of a hybrid build half half war mind half charge for light so i've got uh shield break charge so i i, I become charged for light when i break a matching shield and high energy fire for the output of the charge for light and i've went with the usual uh war mind cell build uh fire team medic global reach and i believe i have went with the wrath of rasputin the rage of the war mind that's what i went with so uh we're using the linear fusion rifle uh line the sand again the one i used last week i'm using ariana's vow and also seventh seraph and i also found out something quite actually quite interesting about this nightfall that you can change uh, at the boss you can change which kind of champion you get which is, which is quite cool so when we go in here there's a lot of champions but most of this is ranged if you want to run it with a sword go ahead i suppose I mean, it's it's uh, don't don't be doing that with your grenades though. Uh, had an issue with throwing grenades to start with because I kept switching between uh, fastball and I'm just not used to using fastball the way I used to be, so I just decided to take it off. So we've got an unstoppable over the other side. I kind of move more to the left hand side here just to make back and left just so that, that the ads can't really get a bead on you. And then once I've took that overload out, uh, that unstoppable, sorry, I just kind of clear that left hand side. We've got a, a barrier on, on the bridge, so I'm going to throw a grenade. I'm not, because I don't have one. <laughs> I'm going to throw a grenade. No, I'm not. Put a couple of shots on, as you can see, with the, with the line of the sand and Ariana's, you just you take care of those champions pretty quickly without, without wasting ammunition. Or, or, or burning through one set of ammo. So you'll see me do this a lot where I'll, I'll switch to my primary and just try and try and bring down the health of enemies or just try and finish them off. That's the war main cell part. So I want to produce war main cells because if I do, I'm going to save on ammo. So we've, we've already took an unstoppable and we've took a barrier. There's another unstoppable up here, but I want to take that sniper, that elite sniper, because when you're trying to deal damage to this unstoppable he won't stop he'll just be pinging you and this just you know just makes it easy to do damage to one enemy if you're not having to deal with another one standing next to him so i kind of you'll see me do it as well switch between my weapons so i'm not running dry on one type of ammunition uh the line of sand does good damage you'll see there i've got my war mine cell so I'm trying to ignore everyone else, break that, because you can see it just clears a whole host of enemies. Now, the modifiers, I haven't spoke about those yet. Really the one you've got to worry about, if if you're doing everything from range, then chaff is the one you've got to worry about, uh, no radar. So you'll see here, so I, I got a bit of a shock, I was looking, I didn't realise I'd activated the throw. So be careful, but also because we've got fire team medic on, Every time I break a war main cell, I'm going to get an immediate health boost. So normally those thrall don't come until you're around about here. Until you just before here. But when you get in here, you're going to have some exploders. So you have to be careful, especially if they do this. I think I maybe started shooting them too early. Although that's about the same time I normally start shooting them. You have to also watch out. You've got four of these. So don't leave the tunnels until you've killed four because you don't want one creeping up behind you when you're trying to take down this next champion. There's also a whole host of uh, thralls just around here. I normally just put my, my grenade down, but I don't have it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run up. I'm, I'm going to try and get them together, get that explosive damage, and then if I need to, that barrel's there, but I got I got the war mine cell. So I'm going to have my grenade, so what I'm going to do is put my grenade on the champion and then just, I'm just going to keep putting shots on and as you can see there, nothing left, nothing left. And that was like, I managed to get quite a few shots on the champion before 
before his, his shield went up. And when his shield went up, two shots to break it and we're good. So I've got uh, Spoils of War. So finishing champions will give me heavy. Now, what I noticed was that my... Uh, uh, my linear fusion rifle was doing an absolute ton of damage, almost culpable to my super. It was doing like 50,000 a shot. So I want to keep as much heavy as I can. If you were wondering why I was meleeing those two throw instead of just just shooting them, it's because I felt like I was going to produce a war main cell. You really have to, if you're running a war main cell build, you really have to kind of watch out for it. it's like four or five kills if you feel like if there's two enemies in front of you you've killed a couple already try to kill them with something else and not the weapon that's going to produce the war main cell because you don't want to produce a war main cell in a place where it's not going to be any good you need it to be out in the open as much as possible just to do you know the maximum area of effect so there's the other barrier champion quite as you i thought this would have been a champion round here, but it's not, it's just an arc shielded captain. Got the one main cell which took out all of those ads. And we'll just find this captain. And there you go. Once you've took this captain out, it's gonna be a whole host of throw, nothing major. So the the modifiers for this nightfall, obviously they they make this I don't know if they make it easier or more difficult, but when you kill an acolyte, they'll drop a pull of fire on the floor. Incoming arc and area of uh, element, uh, environmental damage, if I can even get it out. Do more. Uh, match game, chaff, the usual mob. And obviously, we are working with uh, barrier and unstoppable. So, when you get here, this is kind of your first real test. There now the idea of this is you've got a you've got a bunch of champions in here. You'll you'll actually have five eventually, but there's three champions that are all going to drop worms. The idea is kill the every time you kill a champion or one of the three placed champions because some of them don't drop them. Two of them don't don't actually drop worms. Once you kill the worm dropping champions, uh, once you've slammed those three three worms, you're then going to get the boss is going to come out, you do a bit of damage, and then she'll disappear. Every time you kill one of these, this is, this is what I would call a, a worm-eating, a worm-dropping champion. When he drops at that, the worm, you're going to get a wave of ads from the center. Now, the first two waves, as you can see there, the first two waves are going to, be, are going to consist of some thrall, uh, a, a cursed thrall, let me just shoot this war mine so if... It will even break, and that should kill all the rest of the ads. So you'll have throw, four curse throw, and this guy. First two waves will give you an arc shielded, an arc shielded knight, and you just take them out like that. The last wave will give you a champion instead of him. So still the same ads, but it will give you a champion. That that champion's obviously not uh, uh, a worm dropping champion. And also, you're going to have, around the area, you're going to have just ads, just normal ads. As you can see, I'm trying to get rid of them because they drop, they throw fire bombs at you. It's not a good time. So, the the knight we've just killed is, is a, a worm-dropping knight. This, the, this champion, sorry, champion, not knight. This champion down here that's shooting at me is a worm dropping champion. And in the cave to a left at the back, because there's a champion at the front, the one at the back drops a worm. The one defending the left hand, uh, the one defending the left hand cave, you'll just see him here, just down there. Uh, he doesn't drop a worm, and the last champion doesn't drop a worm. But, I, I already done this. I put it on Twitter that I'd done it. So if you if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, if you have Twitter, go over and say hi. I, I put I put stuff about runs and when I've done runs and what I'm doing on there. It's just a nice way to, to connect. Uh, I put one up saying I'd, I'd done this and I'd done a pretty good run, but I never got the platinum. And I think it was this champion here. I'd, not this champion. The next wave, this guy will be a champion. I think it was because... 
I slammed the worm. I didn't know he would be a champion because this is the first time I've done this in a while. So I didn't know that spawned a champion. And I think that's what stopped me getting getting platinum the last time. So I couldn't really put it up without the platinum. So And I'm glad I redone it because as I said, I learned something about this strike I didn't know before. So once you've cleared out th this big area, not the cave to our right, the big area, go and slam the worms that you've collected. There should be two lying about now. When you pick them up, you will have a timer. If they explode, you'll get another champion and he'll drop another one. So you can actually farm these worm champions. You can far you can you can uh, farm them for for score if you really wanted, although I didn't bother. I thought I was being shot for some reason. So I, I jumped over the worm so I could have a little look and I, and I wasn't. So you get like a, you see the timer there on the left. It's it's quite a long timer. Uh, now in the cave, we're going to have two champions, two arc shielded knights, and a host of a host of acolytes. Again, you see here, I've got heavy, so I'm not actually going to try to finish this champion. Don't try and finish, even though you've got the thing on, don't try and finish every champion you see. That, you'll see me shaking here. I didn't mean to throw that grenade. My finger slipped off the trigger. <laughs> like my my finger never slipped off the trigger. It slipped back and I hit the, the grenade button with it. What an idiot. So what I'm doing is you've got two two kind of viewpoints here. So I'm kind of moving between both of them. I want to take out the arc shielded knights. You see here we get both of them. There we go. Now I want to make sure there's no acolytes. Don't try and finish every champion. There are some champions you can isolate. This is an isolatable champion. You can isolate him and, and, and finish him for heavy. So what we're going to do is just... You see there's a couple of acolytes. He's hitting us hard. But I'm going to use this kind of pillar here as a bit of cover. Just, there's only one more add. And there we go. I've got a lot of heavy, but... I'm going to try and save special and use as, like I've done before just a couple of hits and you can see he's finishable a couple of hits then just, if you're low on special use your heavy use use the linear fusion rifle to do the big damage to the knights and just use your uh just use your barrier if you're using this barrier uh if you're using ariana's it's really good for this 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 strike uh if you're using this, then just use your heavy to bring down the champion and then Ariana to break the shield. When you've took that champion out, you're going to get this champion. So just leave the worm and come and deal with this champion. Now, I just got into a habit. If there's a solo champion, just finish him. And it just means I can be a little bit freer with my heavy usage. But also, you stand a chance of dropping a little bit special as well. And even though I have hand cannon, reserves, finder, scavenger, all the good stuff. Same as I've got for linear fusion rifle. I don't think I have reserves on though. Uh, even though I've got all of those on. You can, you, you can never be too... Uh, you can never have en enough. You know, never. there's never too much ammo on the floor. You know? I mean, I'm, I'm sure we, we all know that there will be. But... Better safe than sorry. So, come over here. I've put a, put a couple of shots on the boss with the Ariana, and I've thrown my Nova, and that's that's this section done. So, that was my first. That's your first real test. So, as you can see, very very methodical. Take the first two champions out, and then make sure the area is clear, and then slam the worms, and then deal with the final champion, final two champions. When you drop the worm, leave it, go and deal with the last champion, then slam the worm. When you get to this point, don't push past here, not not just yet. Take out this this uh, oh, this uh, unstoppable from around here. The reason why is because if you don't, if you if you try and push up and and try and get a bit too close to this this uh, unstoppable. You will activate the shrieker and the adds, and the shrieker is bad enough because income and void it's bad enough but then the ads as well you, you don't want that 
so as you can see i'm trying I, i've done a bush jump there just hey i'm here and you can see now i've produced a warm main cell bust that all ads are gone and i'm going to kind of use this little rock here as kind of like a little bit of a head clutch with shriekers it's, it's it doesn't really work but any protection is better than no protection so I'm just having a look because it's chaff is on. So I'm just having a look to see what ads are around doing that jumpy jumpy. So up here you've got a champion. You've got a champion to the left as well. So there's three champions in this area. You've got an unstoppable and two barrier. You've got another shrieker. But you've also got, you see I'm going to take this shrieker. Bad day if you get caught like that. What I'm going to do in a second, I'm just going to back away because I know there's a, a, a load of thrall coming in. There they are. Charge my grenade. There you go. Hold that for me, guys. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump up on here because the next real threat to our strategy is these. And you'll see they tag me quite a bit here. Uh, as these uh, sniper acolytes. There we go. So now it's just uh, what exploders are left. Are there any thrall about? There's, there's another exploder. And uh, be careful for those uh, spikes. That was a nice teleportation there from the thrall. And now we're gonna we're gonna take these two barriers. Now you probably could take the the barrier to the right of the one we're going to. You could probably take him first because you'll see here. It's a little bit hairy when you're here. It didn't the first couple of times I've done it. So I'm going to jump up in a second. We've got them finishable, but I'm not really bored about finishing them because I'm getting hit. So maybe, and you can see there, that's the problem with, ch with chaff. Is I was activating, I was looking about, and there was nothing. But one of them hid. So we're just, now we're just, we're not bothered. You know, all the ads are down now. So we'll just put one on, finish, and that that that's a section. So I probably you probably could do it the opposite way. Get the, take it take this champion first, and then take the champion on the left from the high ground. That might actually be a better way to do it. Uh, but as I said, it really is doing it by numbers, guys. Just step by step. Don't go too far. Don't activate too many enemies because it's just it's not worth it. So I've got my Nova, but I want to keep it because I want to get rid of the first part of the boss battle as fast as possible. So just putting a couple of shots on there, she's going to put her stuff on the ground. So I'm just going to jump up here, pull out my heavy finder because she looks kind of almost invisible to me here. And I know she hasn't got a lot left and she'll go. Then what you've got two unstoppables and a, an absolute horde, an absolute horde of thrall. So what I what I like to try and do, and it doesn't always work, as you can see, I maybe never, never left it long enough for the last unstoppable, but I like to stop them so that there isn't too much coming up the bridge at the same time. And then just be careful because there's that many of these that you could, there is a real danger you could get overrun. And I could not, you see here, I jumped all the way around. I, could, I couldn't I could actually go and get that, that uh, war mine cell. So now I've got another grenade. I just put that down. If you can get a war mine cell pretty quickly, it just makes life so much easier. If you can't, back away, back up to here. Now, once we take this little guy... Now we've got two unstoppable. So what we're going to try and do, and, it, and it's entirely up to you. It's it's it, it's based on your ammo needs. Do you need to finish one of these? If you don't, then don't bother. Now there are champions at the end that you can actually get get super uh, get get heavy from. What I decided was I'm going to finish one. Uh, so I'm pushing pushing up here. So I've not got too far to go. And I've decided I'm going to use a bit of special. I don't really want to deplete my heavy too much. I want I want the unstoppable to actually charge me. Because the closer he is, the less I've got to run. You can see there, he's quite, quite far away. But I managed to get him. 
into the unstoppable, uh, into the finishable uh, state pretty quickly. So, that's us at the boss. Not too difficult, not too bad, right? Uh, when you get to the boss here, you are going to have a champion and maybe four or five acolytes. So I just toss a grenade up at the champion and just make sure that I've took out all the all the ads. I've got a war main cell, which was nice. Unfortunately, he went he went into his bubble before I really was set, but it's fine. Because now he's finishable. I'm picking up some special. We've got a bit of heavy. We're all good. So, how does the boss work? Well, everybody that knows this fight will know you do so much damage, boss t brings out its shade, its void counterpart, and then you do so much damage that, and then the solar and the void split. I wonder how many people know. Especially with this champion now, I'm, I'm acting like, you know, oh, nobody knows this. Maybe everybody knows this, but I didn't. See, I haven't done Brutal very often. Depending on which boss you're fighting, which makes perfect sense, the ads will come from one side. So the solar, the ads always come from the left. The void, yeah, the, the, the ads always come from the right. But depending on which boss you kill first, depends on what champion you get at the end. So if you kill the void, the void boss first, you'll get an unstoppable from, obviously, because it's void, you will get it from the right hand side. Sorry, if you kill the void, you'll get an unstoppable from the left hand side. If you kill the solar first, you'll get a barrier champion from the right hand side, which is, which is quite interesting. It's that, you know, so they, they kind of, the, the, the solar ads come from the left, so it makes sense if the solar still up, the, the unstoppable will come from the left. The void enemies come from the right of where we're looking now. So what I decided to do, because when I'd done this before and I didn't actually get the platinum, there was two champions I didn't take. One of them was in the room where we just were. Uh, I'm going to take a, take a little bit a chance you see there that just wipes it wipes them all out there was the champion in the room where you've got to slam the worms that i already spoke about and there was this champion the second champion comes out here so what i've decided is the other times i've been keeping the soul up keeping the void one up and the barrier champion comes out it's really difficult it's really difficult to take out the champion when the void the Void Wizard is, uh, is throwing stuff at you. Throwing those, uh, these things, these uh, spiky things. I didn't bank on the Unstoppable being not quite as difficult, but really being aggressive. So, I was looking for a barrier. I didn't know that I would spawn a different champion. So, I'm taking all of those out. All these Exploders. And then I'm like, oh... Managed to put some, some love on him here. And we've also got this guy. My, and, and, and if this happens to you the way it's happening to me, the ads are really stupid, right? I got rid of this knight and I'm going to go back up here. I just played round and round the garden almost with the champion. And... Uh, yeah, made sure I stayed in cover from the, the solar boss. I was just watching that there because I was like, oh my god, how did I survive that, that long? Especially with Thrall running about. But it literally is a case of uh, lead, leading the champion. Now that the champion's gone, we've almost got a super. Literally, we're just going to wait for a super, put a couple of shots on the boss. And then throw a super and that, that should be it. But just remember... Which champion you take down dictates which champ which uh wizard you take down first dictates which champion you get. If you take the void one down first, you'll get an unstoppable. If you take the solar one down first, you'll get a barrier. And they'll always come from the same side. Barrier comes from the right side of where you come in, and the unstoppable comes from the left. As do obviously all the voids 
all the Voids ads come from the right as you come in, and all the solo ones come from the left as you come in. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope this helps you guys get your 100k. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.